Can you hear me now? How about now? And the music isn't weird? Because I, I do see like the, um, the thing, the bar like moving with the music. It seems like it's picking up music, but it shouldn't be. All right, well, then I guess it works. <laughs> Jeez, okay. So I guess we did our chaos thing for today. I hope we got that out of the way. Man. Okay, let me fix one thing really quickly. This is no longer a thing. Uh, and I didn't take it away, of course, as a good disorganized artist, which I aren't, which I'm not, but Dude, this is like super realistic live. I'll just put in the there we go. That's me. Uh, So, Yitian, how are you? Have you played Hades? <laughs> We're back on track. Kind of. Did you finish it? I think I've done, I just saw that I did like 26 escape attempts so far. And I haven't gotten, I've gotten to Elysium uh, and then I died like somewhere halfway. And that's as far as I've gotten so far. No, don't crash. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
There we go. Yeah, I think um, um, someone on, like I, I said the same thing on Twitter and someone said like, who was it? Moose said um, like, um, um, it they have such a good story intertwined with it that um, it's just really attractive to just do it over and over again to get to know everything. It's really well done. I And I love the, the voice acting too, like, um, I'm pretty sensitive to like, um, um, to audio in general. Um, and they are one of the nicest voices. They are one of the nicest pieces of voice acting that I've like ever listened to that I, that I was like, oh, I really want to listen to these voices all day long, like Megs and uh, Zags as well. It's great. All right, so I'm doing something different today. Instead of like working on the comic, uh, I'm gonna be doing, um, attempting to create an illustration and it's gonna be start to finish. I haven't even prepared anything, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, and so to take you like through my process, um, what I do, usually what happens is like I get inspired either through just like some kind of thing where oh I I'd love to draw this you know just getting like an image in my head I had that I don't know the day before yesterday for something completely different, um, but oftentimes I get like inspired by something like this um, where it reminds me like oh if I do it this and this and this way, and then I make it my own, and then um, you know it becomes a part of the story. So uh, I touched on this. Um, maybe uh, when was it last week? Um, where I said so. Um, what the inspiration for this was, or what my idea for this is. So I came across this. I loved it, and for a second I thought that um, the light was coming from instead of like reflecting on the on the water, I thought it was coming from below. Um, so I, you know, my concept for, for the illustration uh, that I want to do today, uh, or not today, like I'm going to make a start today. I'm not going to finish everything today. An illustration on average takes me like 16 to 20 hours or something. So um, we're going to make a nice start today. Um, so the idea was to have uh, Nergui uh, the main character from Netherrealms uh, standing on a bridge, but like a Dutch bridge because we have like all these de Dutch canals um, here in Holland in uh, in the older cities um, and to have like uh, some creature from Netherrealms um, swimming in the canal actually um, glowing so instead of like the 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 red light reflecting into the water um, it's going to be coming out. So yeah, I'm gonna be like exploring that today. Um, like I said, I have nothing prepared, so um, I'm gonna be uh, collecting some inspiration. Um, so you can see like how I collect the moon boards, what I find important. And then I'm going to be setting up uh, a 3D scene, probably. Um, thanks, yeah, I, I hope it turns uh, I hope it turns out nice. I <laughs> Usually like I start with something and then it's like, mm, no, it's not working the way I want it to. And then I kind of like change to um, make it suit, make it look good. And then it, usually, it doesn't always like end up exactly the way I intended to. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, I'll make a mood board. Then um, I'll set up the 3D scene for like reference. And um, I, I usually, I don't, I don't paint like all the, uh, buildings and stuff by hand uh, because I do that way faster in 3D. Um, so I'll be setting that up and actually I 
will probably be reusing um, a scene that I already have for other illustrations. Um, and then, yeah, I'll be uh, setting this whole thing up. So that's the plan for today. Um, and what I did want to do right now is um, select some inspiration. So I have like a whole Pinterest folder here that I keep um, creating. So right now I have 3000 pins apparently um, of like years and years of um, collecting images that I liked um, just because I liked them, not because there was any uh, specific purpose to them. Um, if you want to check it out, um, it's on my Pinterest, which is like pinterest.com slash ringin. Oh, hold on. And then it's uh, slash art dash inspiration. I'll just link it here. So it's in writing on the screen. If you want to have a look. Um, but yeah, so these are things that I just find beautiful. And I often go back to this, um, this board if, if I, you know, if I need a starting point for something. Um, and this thing, uh, this screen that I'm uh, looking at right now, this is called Pure Ref. Um, it's um, a really handy uh, reference board software thing. I, I think it's still just free and you can just download it, but it's really nice because it's like a really minimalistic uh, board that you can just like drag stuff into and then it's just there and you can save it as a file. Um, so it's like a small program, it's really simple, but it's really nice to, uh, um, to have like up on my, my second screen, like I have a, I have a screen above this one, um, that you guys can see. Um, and, uh, um, all my reference uh, is usually on there. So I have it up at the same time as looking as while I'm working, um, on the other thing. So yeah. That's pure ref. So um, I just want to like look through my inspiration board. If I have like something specific that I'm looking for, I'll look on Pinterest or on Google um, just to see. So this is kind of like the vibe that I go for. Um, something, you know, pretty like calm. I'm not really specifically like looking for the colors or something, but just like the vibe, the composition, as you can see. Um, this stuff. <laughs> I mean, I, I get that, but I just, um, I really, hi, Captain, by the way, thanks for joining in. Um, uh, somehow it kind of like, I guess I like it because I don't need any shortcuts, um, keyboard shortcuts to like twist this stuff, you know, and it's really quickly to, um, it's really quick to, to, to flip something or turn something a little way. And I don't know, it's just, it's just handy to have it in a separate window. Also, because if I want to like minimize Photoshop, then my uh, second window for, for the reference doesn't like uh, minimize as well. I just like having them separate for that reason. Uh, so yeah, um, so I like these because they're really like calm. There's water in there, obviously. Um, and the compositions are pretty centered. Yeah, and it's, well, like I said, it's free too. So if you want to just try it out to see how it feels, then um, you can. I still really love this image, like I want to do something in that vein sometime, but not today, but. Might be interesting to do something with a symbol in the water. Sometimes I just also save cute stuff instead of 
stuff I find mostly beautiful. Yeah, right now um, I'm like fully in Hades mode. Um, I started playing Hades like a couple days ago and I'm like, I hadn't expected it, but I'm super, super uh, addicted, so. Do, do. What else? I'm, I'm kind of looking for like if I have any sea creatures glowing because I'm, I'm pretty sure I've, I've seen like um, creatures glowing underwater uh, before. Like <laughs> this is not a unique concept. So uh, uh, there's probably something, something like this on my board. There's a lot here. Something like this vibe. I have no idea what the sequel is about. I just saw like everybody being super, super psyched about two, and I was like, eh, maybe I should try one. And then, you know, but I kind of like got it on. Oh, crap. Kind of got it on a whim because it was on sale. Back. Okay. Go. Come on. Why are you being so slow? There we go. Guess I'll figure it out. I guess this is enough for now. Then I don't, like usually I, I look up a lot more reference for um, for the, the area that I have in my head in terms of like actual structural reference. So well, I guess I'll just put it in there for, uh, this is what we're painting, guys. Uh, where are we? Hold on, hold on. Uh, subcultures, no. Yeah, go scare go. But they. So it'll put, here we go. This is my favorite little piece of the canals. Don't put me in the, there we go. This is kind of what I'm going for in terms of like architecture. Uh, let me go to that other bridge and see if I can stand on there. I can. Okay, hold on. I'm so glad I kind of built all this already because it's going to save me a lot of time. Did you guys see? Oh, really? I'm not allowed to go on the bridge? Come on. No, no. How about, how about now? How about now? Yes, no, no, not really. Okay. 
How about over there? Nope, because there's holes over there too. And too bad. Oh, I can go there. Come on. Nope, it's not gonna happen. Fine, fine. All right, something like this. Yeah, this is um, this is like pretty impossible to. I mean, look at all the walking space. <laughs> it's not that spacious if you're if if there's like as many bikes as uh, as as this, I guess. But um, do not try to go here. Um, I think this is a designated walking space from nine to six, and then when shops close, I think you can drive here, but I'm not totally sure. Um, but um, I had to be here with a car a couple times, like in the neighborhood, because there's like um, shops, or not shops, um, like uh, there's streets behind this, obviously. Um, and I've, I've had to be like in this area a couple times, and it is not easy to, to get there um, with a car at all. So usually you want to just stay away with your car if you can. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of like uh, the, the vibe that I'm going for, which is similar to uh, other pieces that I've already done. But uh, yeah, g giving it a different dimension, I think. So this is how I just usually start, just like getting some inspiration, getting some ideas. Um, because like these have a lot, a, a much bigger scale, which I kind of like. Um, so I might up the scale for this a bit, but I'm not totally sure. And also very important, saving your stuff before you move on because otherwise you lose everything. I'm like a neurotic saver in that case, in, in, that, in that sense. Like I save <laughs> after every, almost every stroke I make. Uh, let me make a new folder for this because in Nether Realms, Where did my... Oh, there it is. It is 2023. Um, uh, so what I'll probably do is set up the 3D thing. Whoops, time for a break already. Come on. No. I'll take another 20 minutes. Here's our blender. And now I will open up thing I already have from my previous illustration. Huh. Almost oh, 13 months ago to the day that I worked on the other one.
by the way, did you guys see the like the whole discussion going on with uh, one person tweeting, "Hey, listen, you know, all you artists should uh, lower your commission prices because I can't afford it." Yeah, I definitely had an opinion about that. <laughs> it's like it's become so commonplace to be able to commission artists, you know, it, it used to be like an elite thing. So now everybody's used to being able to uh, commission an artist like with uh, with a small budget. Yeah, I mean, like, to be fair, I don't think it was made in, like, bad faith, you know, the the whole, um, uh, the tweet in the first place, because she, like, that person was like, oh, artists are whining that they can't get commissions, so if you can't get commissions, then maybe you should lower your prices. Um, but yeah, uh, everybody kind of fell, uh, kind of took issue with that because, you know, it's not like doing a hundred bucks for a whole commission for a hundred bucks. And I'm not even sure like what that entails. Um, but generally it's too low. So geez Louise. All right. So I have this thing already built um, from a previous illustration. So I'm going to save out a new version. Uh, that's not where I want to be. We'll get to the actual painting part. <laughs> soon. I just, I neglected to uh, organize, to like set up the, the files and stuff beforehand. It was a chaotic morning. Um, it was a lot of fun uh, because, uh, well, I tried to do some work, and, but then my, uh, my brother-in-law and father-in-law, um, they, uh, they were doing a construction thing job at another person's house. Um, and they, um, um, they took down a sunscreen and that person was like, can you throw this away from me? Because I don't want this sunscreen anymore. Uh, and he was like, this is a perfectly fine sunscreen. And we were looking for one that was like wider. Uh, so it was like the whole width of our house, which is like five meters. Um, so he sent us a text like, hey, do you want this? We were like, yeah. So they came to our house this morning to, uh, to like put it on the wall. So now we have a new screen. Yay. Um, but it was a little chaotic this morning, um, because it was downstairs more than, uh, than I anticipated. Saving this out here. Twenty twenty three, two, seven, three. I'm gonna leave these people in here for now because I'm not sure if I want a like a very quiet it might be very quiet I'm not sure I don't think there will be a lot of people like if it's this dark then you know it won't be 
deserted, but there won't be a lot of people out and about anymore either. So I'll keep those people in there, but probably not as many. Dude. So here you can see how hacky I get with uh, <laughs> with my 3D stuff. Uh, we're not gonna do that, so you go away. You go away. You go away. Let's call it go away. Bye. Did I want to do that? Hold on. I'll keep those on the street bit. Captain, do you use any 3D with your um, with your illustrations, like for ref or something? going to keep the yeah we probably will zero this out oh whoops why is it being so weird oh that's why <laughs> 3d still like after I, I was I recently realized that I I've been working in 3D for, I don't know, uh, since 2008. So that's 15 years now. Even after 15 years, sometimes I still go, what the heck is happening here? If like anyone has any questions, by the way, I'm happy to like divert and uh, just stop what I'm doing and like show you how I do stuff. I honestly like usually usually um, my uh, scenes are a little bit more well organized than this. This is like the result of. Um, Edit, on edit, on edit, on edit, on edit, and so forth. Because this is like some really old stuff that I've been repurposing for illustrations for a long time. So I, I should, I should like build something from scratch. But all these houses are like so conveniently there already. Go for 
there. Turn out of the way. This is all the weird stuff. Alrighty, let's see. I do remember. Okay, so. Yes, locking the camera to view so I can move this around. I'm going over here to one of the bikes. This is a bit bigger. this do I want to look that way sure that was already there so that would make sense and then the composition is kind of going to be oh so this kind of works out because the scale is already a bit bigger like I wanted it to be and it's going to be pretty low probably hmm, I'll have to figure that out where I want the horizon line to be. Save before I lose everything. All right, so my camera's over there. So I'll kind of like randomly duplicate this stuff. And then I'll, so what you can see is the, the canals aren't really exactly straight. So it kind of like naturally, I think a lot of people run into this issue where they go like, oh, what do I put at the end here? You know, when does it stop? Um, but in real life, like I think a lot of um, few lines like cut themselves off naturally just because stuff gets to ten tends to get in the way um like trees and houses streets just bend so you end up seeing like more houses eventually um and the stupid thing is that it's like actually more difficult to recreate in 3d obviously because 3d wants to go straight um put these away for a sec Then I kind of put this stuff. Oh, huh? Why is it so interesting? Uh, does it matter? Well, yeah, it's kind of 
be interview, get interview, so I'll use these. Let's switch it up with, oh, there we go. Yep, we got there. All right. Let's see, I want less people in this scene because this is way too busy already. Do I have them? Yes, I do. Bye. handy so I'll just put them to the side yeah I'll just leave them there and all these people are in the way they're not gonna be there late at night it could be but yeah I remember the time where I had to like, hey, Nika, how's it going? Congrats on putting out your first newsletter. Yay. <laughs> Jeez. Is 
See, yeah, they were all they were all portraits that I um, hadn't seen before. I think maybe like the blonde guy that you just posted that on social media or something. But the other ones, I was like, oh, these are new, or were they new in the first, like anyway that you had posted them yet on social media? Oh, that's why. Okay. So that was not the power of newsletters. Hey, Andre. I know I <laughs> I sometimes like go back to it just to just to see Um, just to like immerse myself in, 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 in cool stuff again. Right? Like... Um, I love Pinterest personally, just to, as a user, uh, I know some people have issues with it because, um, like the, it doesn't link back to the source material a lot. Um, so they, they have an issue with like Pinterest pulling like a lot of, um, images away from the source. So I'm not really sure how to. How to feel about that? Then again, I'm kind of like, how how are you gonna how are you gonna stop that if people want to use it that way? You know, like um, it's gonna be posted somewhere else uh, um, as well. So, eh. where did I put this stuff? That's the uh, issue with old, using old uh, uh, old files. If you don't set them up properly, then you can't find your stuff anymore. I wonder though if it if it got like worse um, with Pinterest, or if it's always been an issue on like any website. Only Pinterest makes it really um, visible, you know. Because honestly, I can remember times before Pinterest where I would find an image on like I don't know anger or flicker or whatever and then be like oh that's really pretty i want to see more and then i'd have to like reverse image search or do some like snooping to try and find um you know who who made the thing Yeah, exactly. That's why I can't really like fault the website for it, I think. Did I find it? I think I found it. Floor pattern. Yes. Yes. No. Maybe. Yes.
Oh, it has. I haven't really <laughs> noticed. Does it get better with like sourcing uh, Google images? Let's see. Do I have all the textures now? No, I don't. Oh, no more pink. Okay, so that works. I guess I was able to source all, all the other stuff. Hmm, all right. So now for the lighting. And then I'll probably change up the houses a bit because this is a bit too regular like this. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't, I mean, I, I sign my work anyway, you know, if I put it on the internet, so my name is going to be on there unless it gets like cropped off. But you know, um, that's like just as bad on, on, on Instagram or Twitter or whatever than compared to like uh, Pinterest, I think. Um, but yeah, if people want to find me, then they're going to find me anyway. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if, if people use anything commercially without like permission, then of, of course that's an issue. Um, but that's like always an issue. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's on Google, so it's free. What? Damn, come on. always have to be so patient with 3D. I guess it's not so happy that I'm like streaming and doing 3D and, and that I have 5 million tabs open at the same time. just kind of like try and set it up and then see what it ends up as. This is taking me back to like the old days. When I was young, we didn't have a live preview. We had to set up the scene and then render and hope for the best and make adjustments from there. Good, I'm glad you find it interesting. I wasn't sure. Like I like I said before, this this whole thing, this whole process is like a big experiment. I'm I'm not sure if it's like interesting to watch or if it makes any sense. Yeah, I oh man, I used to like DeviantArt was like my main, I used to go to two websites on the internet. That was DeviantArt and it was clubs, clubs.nl. Um, that's like where my art on the internet got started, basically. So 
So yeah, I wish, I wish that it was still a thing. But unfortunately, it it really they they really <laughs> seem to be um, um, digging themselves into a deeper and deeper hole every time. So unfortunately, I don't think they're coming back. Thought I had like a water thing. Yeah, and honestly, like if another art website were to rise up, I'm not sure if I would be really eager to go there. Like all the Hive and Art.io and st uh, stuff. I'm kind of like, eh. It's just gonna be another platform that like that'll stick around for maybe five to ten years and then fall out of favor for some reason. And it's like, um, I like Twitter a lot because, um, because of the fact that it like, um, it mixes up the art scene with like just a general public. Um, so you don't specifically need art people, uh, to be on the platform to be able to reach them. Um, which is the case with like DeviantArt and that kind of stuff, in my opinion. Yeah, exactly. It's just not like I don't really participate in other art spaces, um, in terms of like Twitter. Like I don't do politics or uh, anything else there, basically, apart from art. But it's nice to be able to interact with those people um, and to reach them if they're on there. Well, the whole world, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get it, but um, I'm not really sure anymore, like how, how well of a, how good of a representation Twitter is for, uh, for like the real world, honestly, because there's sometimes so much like hate and polarization on there and then I get offline and then it's like, oh, my life is fine. <laughs> I definitely like I I tried it for I don't know maybe two seconds like getting getting more involved um, in like that 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 kind of space. And then it was like, no, it was giving me so much anxiety. And this is not even, this is not why I'm like online, you know? Um, why, yeah, why would I subject myself to that? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I was I was just thinking about yes yesterday about like how how much European or like the rest of the world kind of like is expected to stay on top of uh, uh, of things happening in the states. Um, I'm not sure why. Oh, because I was uh, so I'm watching um, uh, Umbrella Academy. 
right now, and I'm like at the part where um, Elliot Page uh, like introduces himself as as male. And I was like, oh, what's their, I can't remember their female name anymore. And I was like, there's a name for that in, in, uh, in American, um, where they, uh, hey, Eric, how's it going? Um, there's a name for like the name from your previous gender. And I think it's dead name or something, but it sounds so, it sounds so aggressive or something, um, that I would be scared to mention that to someone in real life yeah um so i'm kind of like and it's it's something i've only heard from like american trans people i've never heard about that from any other person i guess any other trans person um so i'm kind of like well i i don't know i just had a realization yesterday this is me just like kind of like ranting but i just had a realization yesterday where you're kind of like expected as a European or whatever to kind of like stay on top of what people from the States are, are like finding normal. Honestly, I'm not sure. I mean, this is me just right because I'm not even sure how many people would get offended by me not knowing the phrase dead name, so. Is this water transparent? Because I want it to be. See, this is annoying because this is also kind of pretty, in my opinion, but it's not what I'm going for. Uh, water, alpha, hold on. Uh, gotta put this, there we go. Yeah, it's definitely like, <laughs> here, here in Holland, we never used to have like baby showers or whatever. Um, we were talking about kids with like my parents and they were like, my dad was like, please don't ever do a freaking gender reveal party. And I was like, I am never, ever, ever doing a gender reveal party because that's the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> He's already worried about it coming, becoming a thing. Are you laughing at your own joke, Mika? <laughs> okay, this is gonna be like the thing where I kind of like hack, hack everything in there and post because. <laughs> Let me just laugh at my own jokes. <laughs> All right, fish or something. Fish breath. Um, animation. <laughs> yeah, I do sometimes. Uh, have a laugh at myself, at my own jokes. And then people are looking at me like, what are you laughing about? It's like, it's an inside joke with myself. <laughs> I 
I mean, I, 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 I think I told like some people before, but um, I definitely uh, can be pretty bad at telling jokes. So um, I can I can definitely you know tell jokes and then get a response from from like my sister in law being like, uh, "Get you had to be there." That's her trying to be nice. Yeah, exactly. It was just get married. There we go. Good luck. I don't think my parents ever had bachelor or bachelor parties. Baby showers, I'm not sure. I guess, you know, we talked about parties last time, right? Um, I guess what um, irks me about all that stuff is like I don't want more pressure to like organize more parties if you're like doing a wedding or having a baby or whatever it's kind of like geez I'm already busy enough with this am I also expected to like organize and or participate in all that kind of stuff I'm busy enough as it is I guess I'm kind of salty today, people. Yeah, or like doing things your own way, you know. Um, <laughs> I actually, my so my bachelorette party, um, was um, I, it was 2019 and I was doing um, a course at the time um, about like running an art business um, and it was it was on the day of like one of the most important guest lectures from the whole course uh, with uh, Lauren Panapinto uh, who's like an art director at um, or creative director now at um, Orbit Books, which is like one of the biggest fantasy publishers in the States. So I was like waiting for that, you know, for that guest lecture and I had like prepared a million questions to ask him, whatever. Um, and then, and then all these, <laughs> um, all these girls, like my friends showed up and like, surprise, we're going away for the day. We're like, uh, doing your bachelorette party and I was like no I was I was crying I was like no I can't go today I, I can't miss this freaking guest lecture um, so that was me panicking um, but then they solved it because I knew the time that it started and right yeah that was an amazing thing um, so, but we went because, you know, they had a, like, organized, we went to like an alpaca farm to have an high, to have a high tea. Um, but the thing is, during the time of the guest lecture, um, we were exactly supposed to be in the car, apparently. Um, so in the car, um, I put my headphones in and like used my, my friend's internet, um, like my, the, I, I was on a 3G streaming the video and uh, I told I told like the course instructor so he's like okay you go first uh, when it's like question time and then you can like go off and you can watch the rest later so I was like in the car on my bachelor party um, asking some questions and then being like okay thank you and then <laughs> I went off for the rest of the day yeah that was chaos I'm glad she was so understanding, jeez. Yeah, exactly. They definitely... And that was, like, the friend 
who who came up with that solution she is definitely like the problem solver you know she's like oh you want this to happen okay how can we how can we fix this Well, I mean, so was so was mine. <laughs> I was like, no, I can't go. <laughs> like literally crying, walking away, being like, oh crap, I don't want to be ungrateful, but Jesus Christ, any other day. So the stupid thing was, it was like just miscommunication because they had checked with my husband um, if um, if it was okay for me to like be to like if I, if I had anything important planned for that day, um, and um, he was like, oh you know it's a guest lecture I don't I don't think it was that important and I was like no no it's the most important so um, that kind of went haywire. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. They're just coming to, it, it, there, there was nothing about you were free today, right? It was like, no, this is the most important day from the whole lecture, from the whole course. <laughs> Let's see. Does no, not really. Hmm. But you know, it all turned out okay. We fixed it. Oh, right. What happened again? Like, they came here and you were like, yeah. <laughs> Crap, I was planning on staying in. Man, everything to do in 3D was like water and subsurface scattering and stuff. Just, oh, hey, break. Break time. All right, break time. Um, I will... Take a break, um, run an ad to get rid of pre-rolls, and then I will be back in a couple minutes.
I am so glad to be working on an illustration again, though. <laughs> like, the comic making is fun, but eventually the, the itch for an illustration like this begins to come up again. Yeah, I think for me, it's just nice to be able to like take the time to figure out like all the details of all the like the placement that you want, where you want and everything. And um, with like comic work, it's uh, it's a lot quicker. You know, I have to be like way more finished, not perfect. Um, and that's less of an issue with, uh, with illustration where you can like spend a lot of time on one on the one the one thing. Do any of you guys work in 3D as well? I, I think Nika does, right? Rick's going back to the gender reveal parties. <laughs> Honestly, Rick, I have the same uh, feeling about my work in 3D. Like, I've never, uh, well, that's not even true. I was going to say, like, I've never done 3D in a professional capacity. I have, but um, not not this, like this skill or whatever, or not, and definitely not the stuff that, that like my husband does or whatever. Um, I am not that professional. Like, my, my husband would probably have a heart attack if he uh, looked at this file. <laughs> Do you not like the 3D aspect on Zerlin, or was it for a different reason?
Yeah, exactly. Honestly, I mean, if I, I, I only make my 3D files this way because I am the only one who's ever gonna work with them. And generally, I'm also the only one that actually sees them, so... Um, <clears throat> Who cares what they what the structure looks like as long as I kind of know um, what it looks like, right? Um, if I were um, working with someone else on this stuff, I would be a lot neater in my work. I would never ever <laughs> let it get this far. Oh, nice. So did you end up like being able to study uh, 2D animation as well? Are you a 2D animator now? I can't remember if we discussed this. I don't think I would have the patience for stop motion, to be honest. I I think people who are able to work in stop motion are very patient people. But honestly, I'm not even patient enough for animation, so. Maybe I just want this gone. Do I? Or a moon. Yeah, exactly. I think like the redrawing stuff, I would find it interesting for like, I don't know, five seconds, just, you know, for, for like the, I hope I like this better. Yep. Pulls more focus to the thing. Um, but yeah, it's, like, I think it's also why I never really got into storyboarding. Though, why am, why am I doing comics? I guess it's less through redrawing. Oh yeah, as long as it's fun to work with other people, I guess that helps. Lights. Here we 
here we go. I did do some organization. You know, Blender is like a great program. I just, I, I am missing like a few things. Like an asset manager. It was so easy in Maya to just change the lights for a lot of, for a lot of them. Um, the American Super Bowl, like, I think starts at 2 a.m. and ends at, like, 6 or something. So, I have watched, I think, once. Um, but it was an exhausting experience. Oh yeah, it's February, so it's almost it's, it's almost Super Bowl time again, isn't it? Is that this weekend? Yeah. I do like the vibe though, you know, like um everybody like coming together and making a big party of it and stuff. I do like that part, but. Do I want to? Hmm. Maybe I'll just leave that suggestive. It's always a bit of an exercise in like decision-making, like what am I gonna do? What do, what do I want to set up in 3D and what am I going to do um, just by painting? But I do want these lights to be a bit less bright, I think. Themed party food. So is it important for you that there's like red, blue, red, white, and blue snacks? Yeah, this is a nice vibe. Then I want more light over there. Let's see. If I put a light over there, what happens? Red, white, and blue. Honestly, red, white, and blue. I think it could be red, white, and blue. It could be American, Dutch, um, French. Um, 
what else is there? British, of course. Um, Australian, I think. Um, there was one other. Luxembourg. Oh, well, there we go. It's such a universal snack, I guess. Anything red, white, and blue. There we go. Uh, and no, Rick, I haven't had read the uh, Umbrella Academy comics. I am getting introduced to a lot of IPs through Netflix, honestly. Um, I uh, it's kind of funny because I'm I'm only basically just starting to get back into like the whole comics thing. I kind of left it behind for uh, for a long time, and then uh, and then only came back to it. I don't know, maybe a year ago or something. Yeah. Okay, so basically half the world is like red, white, blue flags. Oh geez, I haven't been able to do that, but an entire season in one night? That's like an all-nighter. Can I cheat this? Moving it over there. It's not strong enough anyway. Let's see. That's a lot of stuff that happens in 3D too, where it's like you have an idea and then it turns out that it's not really physically possible. So you have to decide like, am I going to cheat the shit out of this? to get the effect I want, or am I going to, or is that going to look too ridiculous? <laughs> it is pretty addictive. Or maybe, oh, I know what I'll do. This is fine. This is fine. Yeah. Because Nergui in the dream realm has a lifeline. And that'll be able to glow. So I don't need a light to shine on her. Uh, I just started season three.
Oh, Luther is like number one. <laughs> I only know him as number one. Jesus Christ, that guy is ripped. I mean, I think everybody in that family has legit complaints in the sense that they were probably emotionally abused, right? Even Luther. You know, I'm kind of wondering where these twinkles are coming from. They're not coming from the... Weird. Let me turn this around for a second because No, you don't like that uh, Hargreaves family dynamic? She is. I, I kind of like how, I mean, I would <laughs> I would probably not be able to handle it myself that well, but I do like the, um, the chaotic nature of like all their relationships. It makes for like really, really funny scenes, obviously. Um, and I guess that's something that you only get with having like, I don't know, seven children and no direction. Seven? Seven children? Right? Yeah.
I really enjoy this phase because there's like so many ideas coming up um, while I work on these. And I can already kind of like see it coming together in terms of like color. There we go. That makes more sense. That gives it a lot more depth. Now the question is, is the bridge detailed enough or is that going to bite me in the ass later? Probably want to put some stairs there. You have some railings, maybe, huh? I lost some on the way. Y'all can go. Oh. Bye. You know, Nika, I've been uh, thinking about like that monthly uh, newsletter prompt thing. <clears throat> thing. Sorry. Um, I'm just not sure where I would post it that like everybody would see it. newsletter <laughs> uh, newsletter push uh, went pretty well actually um, I went from what did I say I wrote it down somewhere uh, I went from oh yeah 156 subscribers to 229 so that's like almost a 50% um, increase in two weeks for like a, a, a thing, a, uh, geez, a list that I've been uh, writing to for two years. So 
I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> it's nowhere near 6,000 followers, obviously, but all in due time. Yeah, Twitter and newsletter, like, I've, I kind of like want one place just because anything that I need to update in multiple places just becomes like an exponential amount of work. Um, and I'm trying to create less work for myself this year. That's like a big thing that I'm trying to like everything, everything I come up with, um, I kind of like, I ask myself, should I do this? Is this important enough? Um, can I do this in a way that, you know, doesn't like suddenly gobble up all of my time? Yeah, exactly. Um, that's kind of the uh, the issue that I had where I'm like, well, you know, I could even even like portfolio day, like everybody's like, oh, is it portfolio day again? It's like if you just follow the account, then um, it, it, it should give you notifications or, or like, it, it, you know, they tweet out um, when the next portfolio day is. But like even I, I go to the to the page like regularly just to check if um, if the like if the next date is up yet um and even then twitter doesn't like show me their tweets so it's kind of like yeah i can post there but who knows who will see it It could, but I'm not sure like how many people, because I've got like a hundred followers on here, and I'm not sure how many people of those are actually artists that have a newsletter. I don't know. Those chat commands, though, I uh, what a what an invention. Uh, I just figured out what what those words with excla exclamation marks were uh, last week. Wasn't it Yithian? Last week, I think. Yeah, or maybe the week before. So convenient. Man, I would totally do this differently now. Okay, I'm gonna set this up differently. Jeez, this is not handy. Come on. Yes. Wait, maybe I should give my computer an easier time. There we go. There we go, that's a lot smoother. Sometimes I'm like getting super frustrated with my computer. Like, why are you not working? And I'm like, oh. Maybe I should turn off the live rendering <laughs> so my computer has like a much easier time. Is this an array?
But yeah, I'll have to think about it. I'm, I'm honestly, I've been thinking about like reorganizing a lot of things, like maybe just not um, doing like releasing any new illustrations on Twitter anymore, and then doing them on my newsletter instead, and then only posting teasers on Twitter or something. Um, or like reviving the blog on my website. But then again, you know, there's a, uh, a lot of planning, I guess, involved with that. A lot of ma managing the infrastructure. Make me more. Oh gosh, this is why I didn't do it. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think um, new illustrations bring in a lot of new people anyway. I don't really notice like an uptick in, in, in like shares or likes or whatever when I when I share a new illustration to be honest. Um, let's make that let's, there we go. Uh, generally it doesn't do that much for me anyway. <laughs> I guess I'm becoming a lot more neutral towards just um whoops. Um, sharing my work on social media in general. So like if um, if anyone new discovers my work then it might as well be someone who's like really engaged with my work in the first place. I'm not saying like I'll, I'll never like publish anything um, on social media again it's more like I'm more thinking why is this being so weird um, what the heck man this file so this is like the last time I'm using this file because it is so crooked anyway um, yeah if anyone like discovers my art I, I might just like I might as well just um, have them as like a really engaged uh, viewer instead of like some some really loosey goosey follower on on social media. But I don't know. It's, um, I might just like do stuff in art chairs and um, later, like be like, oh, hey, if you want to see like the new illustration now, then you can see it on my newsletter or um, on Twitch or whatever, you know, if I if I do the thing on Twitch. Um, and then later on, I can just use it on social media when I want to share anything. But then, you know, I guess my goal is to like get as many as my of my social media followers on a newsletter, just because I'm so worried about like anything kind of like falling away. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it definitely is. 
Um, but yeah, I, I do really feel, I, I do feel like kind of like cemented. I mean, I've been feeling it for a couple of years, but uh, I do really feel like um, social media, being on social media has become unusually punishing, I think. And like requiring either hitting the jackpot in terms of like um, the content you naturally make um or just grinding for a very long time to try and get some reach. Uh but it's really really hard I think to to get anything off the ground on social media nowadays without some kind of um starting platform. I mean, I'm only at like 700 followers on my commissions account because I already have thousands of followers on my NetherRealms account um, so I could just like retweet my stuff and get some extra reach but otherwise I would still be kind of like yelling into the void on my commissions account probably. stairs so weird probably because of this nope I don't know yeah definitely like even you know like not not being able to schedule a post for some reason so then you have to be like online at that point to make the post at the best time to reach your followers, which is like after hours for me. Um, like I do most of my social media interactions on uh, at like six o'clock, eight o'clock, ten o'clock at night, uh, which is when I should be actually disconnecting from social media. Um, but it's just when I, you know, get the most replies, when things are happening. I've had it so often where um, there was like a call for art or something going out. Um, and then, you know, it would go up at like two at night for me. And then at maybe six in the morning or something or eight in the morning, um, it would get a reply like, oh, I've got enough um, submissions already. So, you know, uh, it's close. It's like, okay, I never... I never even had a chance because um, I wasn't even awake for this to happen. Especially if they're fun too. Oh, really? Oh, that's good to hear. I 
do need a bit more wall here. That's a good point. Yeah, I should, um, I mean, I've started asking people where they, uh, how they found my work and it's been really useful to like see where your efforts are actually paying off. For me, it's a lot of um, Reddit and Portfolio Day. Like the Portfolio Day hashtag on Twitter. Yeah, it's really, it is really useful. Like I never, I never really got the surveys where people were like, hey, so um, how did you, uh, how did you find, how did you find us? I'm like, gee, what a stupid question. But um, I'm finally getting it. This is too red. Let's see. Is it though? Mm. Yes, it is. Oh, hey, Grace. How's it going? And yeah, Blender, I, uh, I'm, I'm not sure how, uh, uh, how often or how much you've seen on, uh, on the stream already, but I usually work on, uh, on the comic, on my Netherrealms comic, Karen, uh, but I opted to create an illustration, um, uh, for now because I'm still working on like the sketches for, for the next scene of Netherrealms, of the comic, um, so yeah, but uh, this is like uh, me uh, reusing um, uh, buildings. I actually, I did, uh, I did make these buildings myself. Um, I made them, whoops. I made them like, um, I don't know, two years ago, three years ago, I think already for, for like another illustration. And I kept reusing them just because I've been making more illustrations about like the Dutch canals. Um, so, yeah, this, I think, yeah, I think everything in this, except for like the people, um, were made by myself. And that's my computer telling me I need to take a break. So, <laughs> uh, great timing, but, um, I, I will take a break and give my arms a rest and then, 
I'll uh, I'll be back in like a couple minutes. Yeah, I'm also really bad at reusing stuff. It's just like this 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 um, architecture is too complicated for me to model all the time. And there's like there's no there's no like automatic. You know how there are a lot of building generators like uh, Blender um, with their um, uh, geometry nodes and stuff. They have a, a couple um, building generators that you can like use as a base, but um, they make a lot of, you know, American architecture and it's, this is very specifically Dutch. So if I don't want to redo it uh, all the time, then I, uh, I need to, I need to like, yeah, yeah, I need to reuse that stuff. Hey, pro, I was just about to take a break. So, um, okay, now I'm really going to take a break for like a couple minutes and then I'll be back. Oh, have a nice lunch, Yitian. Thanks for hanging out. See you around.
All right, I'm back. So Grace, if you're still there, um, what kinds of rough do you uh, do you make in uh, in Blender? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, nice. So do you do, do you use it like for a basis that, um, for like a background base as well? Because <clears throat> I would, um, not like to redraw everything after I've like done this. One thing I want to look at is the dome by night. Let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of lights on there. Hmm. I get that. I mean, um, the the um, um, the hard part about like mixing three D with two uh, D is like making it look, you know, like it belongs together. Um, so that does take me a lot of time. It's I guess it's just like a matter of preference because I I I don't like. <clears throat> drawing architecture. I, I think it looks really clunky if I like draw it by hand. Um, so I prefer to model it in 3D and then um, paint over it so it kind of like meshes with uh, with the thing I'm, I'm painting. And I, <clears throat> you know, in, in terms of like uh, sticking pre-made humans in there, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the artists in in this uh, stream, I guess, um, swear by um, uh, Daz 3D. It is so convenient when you like need uh, customizable human models. What, what's what's the visitive thing with aggressive use of the lasso tool? Oh, you mean in Photoshop? Oops, no, don't. I wanted X-ray. Yep, thank you. There we go. I want this one.
Why is it not selecting? Yeah, so we just do polygons, texture, slash gradient on top. I don't know. Uh, I think that might be something new for me to learn. Um, because I'm not sure if I... I might go like, oh, you know, when, um, when I, when I see the, the actual thing, but... It sounds like... I have not learned about this yet. Let me put some UVs on this stuff too, because it looks really weird. Oh, nice. Hold on. Oh, let me just open this real quick to see. Oh, wait. I've watched this one. Okay, just so everybody knows what we're talking about. Man, I think this is so... smart and you know I, I like I would just have I just have like the biggest maybe I'm not patient enough to like get the right textures in there or something but I keep thinking like oh I I'm missing something with this stuff but it looks like Devin has uh, a lot of amazing tricks to like make it look really lively Maybe it's just me being like really harsh of my own work, but whenever I do something like this, I just kind of feel like everybody can see that it's just mishmashed together instead of like looking like a full picture, you know? This is really nice though. I'll keep this in mind. Maybe I can like combine like this with the other stuff. I guess it's also just because like including buildings in um in my illustrations is like a happy place just because I, I love to see the scale um and the um you know the atmosphere that it brings <laughs> but actually painting them is not my happy place so I have a lot more fun like modeling them compared to painting them so um, maybe that's why I'm like trying to avoid it as much as possible. <laughs> so the mark. 
sorry, eating a grape, um, the market stalls are a commission. Indoor markets are really cool though. Like they have such a cool vibe to them. Yeah, I feel exactly the same way. Somehow doing the 3D is nice. And then you get to the painting part and it's like, eh. It's fun to like do the lighting and the people um, but not really like all the nitty gritty of uh, doing all the blender stuff. Yeah, definitely. It, it really makes you think of like spices, doesn't it? I will um, just take a screenshot. Normally I would I would like render this just to have like more detail and more flexibility in, in terms of like separating layers. Um, for now I'll, I'll just take a screenshot and do like a little scribble over where I wanna go with this just to give you guys an idea. Um, and then I'll put on like a render to have something to work off of next time. Um, so I'll take like another 15 minutes or something to show where this is headed. Dude. Yeah, thanks for dropping by. And if you ever wanna like talk shop, then uh, I'm here. <laughs> Bye, Grace. See you around. So what I'm going to have in here is first off, excuse me, really? Ugh, why? Oh, okay. Weird. Right. So what I was going to say, first off. I want mm, Nerigui is going to have a lifeline because she's in a dream, so it's going to be something like oh, center, center on that. And then Nerigui is going to be standing over here. You have her here. Yeah, I do. Good. Okay. 
Let me save out this PSD before I forget to and then lose all the stuff that I worked on. Uh, 2023, 02, 07. So Derek Gray is going to be over here, she's going to be this big-ish. I thought our clothes were in here as well, apparently not, okay, whatever, do it. She's not going to be very visible in this painting I think, anyway, it's mostly going to be a lifeline and Lifeline and oops, there we go. Wrong layer. something like that and then this is going to be some kind of creature like a fish or something swimming around It's gonna be, oh, do I like that? Nope, that's a weird head shape. It's gonna be all flowy and stuff. Flowy and glowy. No, I don't. Um, I mostly have like song songs or soundtracks for like moods that I want the scenes to be in. Not that I select them ahead of time, but um, I uh, like if I'm working on like a really aggressive scene or like a really sad one, then I will be prone to like. Um, turning something on that fits the mood. Um, sometimes it will, sometimes, sometimes it won't. But for, for people, I think, I find it really... Actually, I, I want to listen to, because I know Critical Role did them for their characters. I'm kind of curious to listen to those. Um, it's just that I find it pretty tough because I shouldn't talk and type at the same time. Um, because um, because there's like so many aspects. Like I, I like so many different songs and I think so many different songs are like appropriate for me. Um, just because it really depends on how I feel and what I, what I feel like that day. So I'm not sure how much sense it makes to like make a playlist for someone. Plus I'm not really good at like selecting music to be honest. Um, 
at least I feel like. I don't really, yeah, I don't really feel like I'm good at it. It's the short of it. maybe what I'd like to do by the way when I whenever I like work on something like this is to have on my I'll have this like usually on a, on a second screen um, I'll have one version that's flipped and one version that has like the black and white version of my image I go to like view proof setup and then um, off the top of my head, it's like 20% dot gain. And it gives you basically like the black and white version, values version. So you can keep checking your values without having to like flip, uh, flip on a layer. So I'll basically have these two up on a different screen just so I can look at it all the time in like a thumbnail form. And I do think I want to do something about the colors. This all gets easier once you like render out um, once you render out the the different layers just because it becomes a lot easier to select everything. But because this gets too dark, that's not really my intention. Maybe I want the fish to be like a bit bigger, just to be more imposing. But like there's a wheel suddenly swimming through the canals. That sounds like something someone would dream of. the whole thing of course more yellow yeah, there we are uh, oh not that one this one I have to figure this one out but there's gonna be something with 
water reflections and stuff. So it actually looks like it's under the water instead of floating on top of it. figure out the reflections because I'm not sure how that would work again. Now the question is, do I like this composition or do I want something like this? Because this makes a lot of sense maybe, a lot more sense. This is the point where I kind of like, I do a lot of just sitting and staring at the thing to see what I want to do. Yeah, I definitely, yeah, I definitely think I want to go with this. It makes no sense to have something so attracting so much attention, so low. And then even I might even go bigger or put it more here. Do I want to though? Me. Maybe an infinity, infinity drop thing. Hmm. I'll consider that. Yeah. So this is kind of gonna be the idea, but I'll um, I'll put like I'll put on a render before next time. So I will have something, you know, decent in terms of like layers to, to work with. 
Um, so yeah, um, I am pretty beat, so I am going to sign off, but I think this is a nice place to, uh, to end it for today. And the next time I'll probably look at the color some more and put in some details and stuff. Thanks guys, you too. And uh, thanks for hanging out. And thanks for asking the questions and you know, looking at how I make this stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. Thanks Nika, see ya.